The world of space exploration is poised for a remarkable surge in activity, following an eight-month period of relative quiet. The charge is led by none other than SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, which recently achieved the phenomenal feat of launching three rockets simultaneously. This groundbreaking event not only pushed the boundaries of space travel, but also set a substantial precedent for the future. As per the data available, it appears that more Falcon Heavy missions are in the pipeline for this year and beyond. 2023 is particularly set to be a busy year for SpaceX, as they plan to launch a record total of five Falcon Heavy rockets, an all-time high in the company's history. Despite being dethroned as the reigning king of launchers by NASA's Space Launch System, Falcon Heavy remains the most potent commercial rocket in the market as of now. This scenario may change once SpaceX's highly anticipated Starship comes online. The journey of the Falcon Heavy rocket started in 2018 when it was launched to showcase its prowess, carrying Musk's Tesla Roadster into an orbit around the Sun, closely mirroring Mars's orbit. Since this inaugural launch, Falcon Heavy has only taken to the skies five more times, with the most recent launch taking place in January 2023. In just a few weeks, we may witness another Falcon Heavy liftoff with a record-setting payload. Scheduled for a late July liftoff from the renowned launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, this mission has been in the spotlight due to its sheer scale. The launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center is a site steeped in history. It has served as the starting point for many significant space missions, including the legendary Apollo Moon missions. The payload for this historic Falcon Heavy launch is an immense satellite, weighing in at an extraordinary 9,200 kilograms, or around 20,300 pounds. To give you some context, this weight substantially outdoes the previous record. The satellite being sent up is called Jupiter 3 Echo Star. It was created by Hughes Network Systems, which is a company fully owned by Echo Star Corporation. The journey of Jupiter 3 Echo Star started in 2017 when Space System Laurel, a prominent satellite maker, was selected to build it. The Echo Star is a special kind of satellite, classified as a multi spot beam K band satellite, and it's based on the SSL 1300 platform, which has a long history of dependable performance in space. But what makes this satellite unique is its entirely new design and structure, made possible through various recent technological advancements. These include the ability to make electronics much smaller than before, improvements in solid-state amplifiers, and designs for antennas that are more efficient. When we talk about its capabilities, Jupiter 3 Echo Star is powerful. It's designed to provide an impressive 500 gigabits per second of data throughput. That's the digital equivalent of streaming around 100,000 high-definition movies at the same time. This upcoming launch of the Falcon Heavy, while undoubtedly impressive, is not even utilizing the full potential of this mighty rocket. The Falcon Heavy can actually carry a total weight of up to 26,700 kilograms, or approximately 59,000 pounds to geostationary transfer orbit. To put it in perspective, this capacity is more than double the weight of Jupiter 3 Echo Star, the hefty payload that's already setting a record. What's more, Falcon Heavy's abilities go beyond just its impressive lift capacity. A defining feature of SpaceX rockets, including Falcon Heavy, is their ability to be reused. This is a significant development in the world of space exploration, as it greatly reduces costs and increases the frequency of possible launches. For the Falcon Heavy, all three of its boosters can be landed back on Earth after launch and reused for future missions. Alternatively, the Falcon Heavy can be launched in what's known as an expendable configuration. This means that the rocket isn't intended to be reused, allowing it to carry even heavier payloads at the cost of losing the boosters. This flexibility to switch between reusable and expendable configurations depending on the mission's needs showcases the remarkable versatility of the Falcon Heavy. The recent flurry of Falcon Heavy missions is quite a contrast to the preceding years. From June 2019 until November 2022, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy did not fly a single mission. However, this does not necessarily indicate a lack of progress or success on the part of SpaceX. Quite the contrary, in fact. This pause in Falcon Heavy missions is attributable to the outstanding success and growth of its sibling rocket, the Falcon 9. SpaceX has worked tirelessly to develop, fine-tune, and optimize the Falcon 9, resulting in its performance exceeding even the most optimistic predictions. 
The Falcon 9 is a less powerful but more versatile and frequently used rocket compared to the Falcon Heavy. The company has consistently pushed the boundaries of what the Falcon 9 can achieve, managing to increase its lift capacity beyond initial expectations. This progress meant that many of the planned missions for Falcon Heavy ended up getting shifted to the Falcon 9, which was a cheaper option. Different commercial companies needing a ride to low Earth orbit, for instance, simply did not require the substantial payload capacity the Falcon Heavy offered. Opting for a less costly ride on the Falcon 9 was the logical choice. SpaceX also won 40% of the launches in Phase 2 of the National Security Space Launch contracts, which includes several launches, a vertical integration facility, and the development of a larger fairing from 2024 to 2027. As such, the Falcon Heavy is currently in the midst of its busiest year ever. Moreover, with fewer launch vehicles currently available, the demand for reliable rockets ready to launch various satellites into a host of unique orbits is steadily increasing. Given this situation, SpaceX is likely to seize this opportunity and attract more customers for both Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9. Beyond the much-anticipated Jupiter-3 Echo Star launch, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket has an intense calendar of missions to undertake. Notably, following the Jupiter-3 Echo Star launch, Falcon Heavy's attention will turn towards launching the 2.6-ton Psyche Orbiter mission in October. This mission, commissioned by NASA, will be directed to the asteroid Psyche, a metallic body located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. This asteroid is of particular interest to scientists as it is composed largely of metallic iron and nickel, similar to Earth's core, and could potentially provide valuable insights into the violent collisions that created Earth and other terrestrial planets. Later in the year, Falcon Heavy is scheduled to carry out another vital mission, this time for the U.S. Space Force. The mission, known as USSF-52, is currently classified, keeping the nature of its payload a secret. However, the fact that the U.S. Space Force chose Falcon Heavy for this mission is a strong vote of confidence in the rocket's capabilities. The year ahead holds even more promising launches. SpaceX has been awarded a launch service contract by NASA for the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite Weather Satellite set to launch early next year, and the long-awaited Europa Clipper launch is set to occur later that year. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.